You're watching the TC MMA podcast. So as we jump into week five in the first fight, you got Kareem Laffer and Boyce versus Nicole Kalari. So another opportunity uh, for another woman to get into the UFC. I'm saying whoever wins this fight's getting in because there's there's a lot of room to be filled. But uh, Laffer and Boyce eight and four, Kalari seven and two. So let's get into it right now. In the women's flyweight division at Dana White's Contender Series, you got Kareen Laffer and Boyce, or Boyce, one of the two, taking on Nicole Cagliari. So two newcomers, obviously. Uh, Kareen Laffer and Boyce is uh, eight and four. Cagliari seven and two. This is Canada versus Brazil. Kareen two inches taller, five five. Don't know her age. We know Cagliari's twenty seven. Perfect, right? You know, beginning of the prime window. Perfect timing. For a fight like this, Kareen's got a two inch reach advantage, 64 to 62. Now, Kareen, again, fighting out of, we're from Montreal, Canada. In the eight wins, two KOs, four submissions, two decisions. Has four losses, two by KO, one by submission, one by decision. Her last loss, though, was at UAE Warriors against Manon Fiora. Third round KO, so she went a couple of rounds. Also losing to Jamie Lynn Horth. So these are people we've heard of. So that's a big deal since 2019. She's beaten all the other uh, fights, five to be exact, lost to two UFC caliber fighters. Now to Brazilian Cagliari. It's coming on three straight wins, all by finish. She was uh, submitted uh, back at Invicta FC 37 in 2019 by who? Kay Hansen, a UFC fighter. So this is going to be interesting. And what Dana White's seeing here is that, hey, they lost the UFC fighters, but they've won ever since. So how do you make a decision here? Well, to me, it's very close. They both have some wins uh, at a decent promotion, like LFA or Invicta, right? So you have that. But I got to go with Cagliari because if it's close, I go with the Brazilian if I don't find an angle. And a lot of times at the Contender Series here, the angle is very tough because we don't have common opponents or we're looking for something like in this case where they've lost their losses are against UFC fighters. That helps the cause, right? Because, I mean, you lost, but you got experience in doing so, and you still got solid records. But four losses for uh, Kareen is a problem. You know she's winning lately. I like Cagliari, the Brazilian, to get the job done here to move to 8-2. and two. And because the UFC needs women fighters out of the contender series, I don't think a decision will hurt. But the Brazilian will be better off getting a submission if she can pull it off. I think she will to move to 8-2, and two, get in the UFC with a contract women's flyweight division Dana White's contender series yeah so I mean this has become custom over the last several months I've just made a decision when fights are close I'm going with the Brazilian because I'm tired of not picking the Brazilian and losing and it just seems that if you know if it's very close which this fight seems to be go with the Brazilian and uh I'd say seven times out of ten you're going to be right He's gonna fight, wait, he's gonna fight, wait, hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight of call, UFC at its height, yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might, saying, hey, Step up, wanna fight? Huh? Hold up, think twice. Ah. Gladiator assassin, reckless, no abandon. Walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass.